Well, hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Comment, and we are playing more Total War Three Kingdoms, continuing with our campaign with uh, Gongshun Zan. So, next goal is we're going to go hit up the trade port, but I think we want to wait a few turns just to get some more HP. I think I'm going to recruit a trebuchet and stuff like that as well. We're not going to sit here for super, super long, but at least a little bit. Now, this guy... So what is uh, Le, uh, Liu Yu? Li Yu? Li Yu, probably? Uh, diplomacy. Uh, do you hate me? Let's see, if we negotiated... Well, actually, you know, one thing we can do is we can actually look at Quick Deal, and we can see who wants what. Like, hey, peace, he doesn't want peace. Non-aggression pact, maybe. Uh, Han Fan. I don't know where this guy actually is. And then you, you have a maybe, I think, as well. Uh, what did you want? Negotiate. So it's actually negative 13.2, so probably not. So probably not. The thing is, like, we could come... We're probably going to go take on the Han next again. Like, just keep, like, hitting up the stuff on the coast. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, let's hit next turn, because there's not much else for us to do this turn. Um, and next turn, we're going to throw down a trebuchet and maybe a couple other buildings. The other thing is, we should uh, take a look and see how much money we're actually making off... Hey, border seas transform, your economy grows. Constructor upgrade a building. Nice, nice. So we gain uh, less construction costs and negative one construction time, faction wide, which is nice. Uh, army is called for, uh, Gongshun raises it. War is the business of the age, my lord. And so, to war we must go, yet we must field stronger forces if we are to complete in this, compete in this bloody conflict. Muster more forces than march to combat your enemies. So we need 13. We have 11 right now. And then we gain bonus experience and replenishment bonus. Okay, so anyways, I want to look here. Money is okay right now, but how much are we making? 314. Remember, that was at 140, but this is also now making us another 70. So, yeah, 74. So, it went from 140 to 240, actually. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, we could actually upgrade you right away, but that's only going to be 20 gold, so that doesn't really seem worth it. I think I'd rather, at this point, just spend my money upgrading. I'm building units so let's go recruit i want a catapult please and unfortunately are we gonna be able to afford anything else perhaps what i really wanted is i wanted some of those um badass swordsmen we can't quite afford them hmm maybe even some of the cab man where are these guys saber militia they have less melee power but they're very defensive dude Ooh, okay yeah, so they're just, like, super, like, uh, tanky dudes. Where it seems like these guys are more, like, charge in and out. Are you both, uh, your archer and then your white horse? Yeah, so I don't know why we'd actually build the archer militia. They're just weaker. They're just massively weaker, dude. Probably cheaper. Yeah, oh, yeah, they're significantly cheaper. 3k for those guys. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Do we want a saber militia? I think I'm going to grab a Saber Militia, because it should bump up our replenishment time, too. So, three turns, um, three turns, eight turns still, two turns, one turn, five turns, three turns. Uh, what is Soldier replenishing? Okay. Is that per turn you're replenishing? I don't know, actually. Since you're garrisoned, you're gaining stuff. You're actually gaining uh, plus 4% replenishment, which is nice. I think if you move them, don't quote me on this, but it looked like when you move them, uh, your replenishment goes a little slower. But I don't know that for a fact. Mission issued, yeah, we knew about that. Uh, we already got the mission success, cool. And then buildings, you basically finished. All right, well, let's go hit next turn. Not making nearly as much money. So the problem is the more units you build, the less income you make. So it's kind of a balancing act where, you know, you want as many units as possible, but you also want to be able to afford those units too. So, you know, there you go. Growing might. So we get 10% extra uh, replenishment, which is great. And then beyond the borders, Gongshun Zan sees his future. If we were to take our fight to our enemies, we must secure our homeland first. Capture an entire commandery and bring it under control. So that's what we're going to do. And we gain momentum, so uh, recruitment is cheaper. Which would have been nice for what we just did. Um, but the trade port is part of this commandery. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Now, what do you need? You have two turns on full replenishment. You have two turns, two turns. You're at four turns. That extra 10% was quite nice. So I'm going to move you out. Since this is still in our territory, you should still be replenishing. 
Now the question is, yeah, since they moved, it actually did slow it down. It did slow it down. Maybe because they weren't in the town. I don't know. So what happened earlier is I actually moved a unit into a town thinking the replenishment would go up and it actually went down. So I think moving actually just lowers the replenishment period. So we can now call for our first reform. So what options do we got? This is extra trade influence and it unlocks, it looks like crossbows. Left click to pin info panel. Okay. What is that? That is the repeating crossbow. Oh, dang. Range power is quite nice. Uh, all right. Uh, then this gives us one extra trade agreement and unlocks some buildings. It looks like dock buildings, but I don't know about those yet. This gives us resettlement initiative. That's extra population growth. This one gives us income from commerce, which is just more money, which seems great. Uh, this is construction costs from military. This is military supplies. Eh. Uh, income from peasantries. Eh. Construction costs on mines. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the income here. And then this is going to lock extra income from the industry, less building upkeep, not bad, and more in uh, income from commerce. I think this is probably just way better. And then it unlocks some new buildings for us as well. Income from commerce, income from in industry, industry income. Yeah, yeah, I'm good with this. Go ahead and unlock that. So this should put our income up a little bit higher. I don't know if it takes place right away. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's gonna take a turn before it actually triggers, but that's fine. Also, how's your HP? Doing okay, doing okay. We might spend one more turn here. The problem is I don't necessarily want to move in and kill this guy uh, during the winter, so. Cause I think you lose more supplies. So you want us to make you regular payment of 163 for 10 turns for a non-aggression pack. How about no? How about no? <laughs> With our easy start, um, I'm definitely not going to take that deal. Also, considering that's a decent amount of change for what we currently are running with. So, three turns, two turns. I think we just go. I think we have enough troops. We have 1,500. We're not going to replenish because we're going to be in foreign territory, but that's okay. So, we wouldn't need to get up here to the trade port. So, go up here. Can you make it this turn? No. But next turn, you can. What do you have here? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, so we're going to absolutely destroy you. Uh, so the other thing is we have different stances on our military. So we could go march. Uh, so we could actually uh, move a little further. The downside is we wouldn't be able to engage him in combat. Uh, also, we would not get recruitment or replenishment. And we would enter battle fatigued. So we don't want to do that. And we couldn't get combat anyways. But All right, new buildings. The iron pits are now done. So those should be making me some more money. Money is at 1500 Okay. So that means we can upgrade you for a little bit extra money. I think I might want to save... Yeah, our population is still really slow, though. What about upgrading you next turn? More commerce income. Hmm. You have to actually be a small city to construct this. All right, never mind. Never mind, because we're still only a town. And then what do you have? You just have the iron mine? That's a huge garrison, dude. That's a huge freaking garrison. So what do we need for this 2,900? It goes from... That's an extra 100 income. Uh, probably worth it. Probably worth it. Well, we're not going to be able to do anything this turn, so... We'll pass. Are we going to want to keep recruiting units? Most likely, we'll want to recruit more units into our general's army. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this battle. Do not yield. Now, he only has one archer, an archer unit, um, and this is a decisive victory. We do have the trebuchet now. I think I'm just going to delegate this because I tend to be really, really bad when it comes to wall battles. Um, I kind of want to see what the trebuchet does against walls, though. We're going to fight it. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? I'm gonna regret this. Probably. Probably. We're not gonna fight every battle. I promise you that. We're definitely not gonna fight every battle, but... Oh, the other thing is we could also put these guys on uh, in the Chinese. Uh, so they'll speak actually in Chinese instead of, you know, English, but eh. Then you guys wouldn't be able to... You'd have to actually read what they're saying, so... And unless, of course, you're Chinese, then never mind. Okay, so the question is, can I just blow up the towers? This is a cool little area. 
I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. So, Mr. Trebuchet, I'm assuming you could just attack the towers. It looks like it. And you have ridiculous range. So let's put you a little more central located here. We're probably just gonna go for both of these. Can I actually hide some units over here? Dang it. Uh, I wonder, hold up. If I put uh, a cav here, are you hidden? Doesn't look like it. Cause I'd like to actually hide them. Oh, that's the other thing. We now have loose formation because of our strategist. So that's great uh, to avoid archers. Uh, can everyone do this? So we might actually just want to loose everyone. Um, except our generals. Yeah, let's do loose formation on everyone, because that hopefully means less damage from our towers. Now, is there any negatives to this? Charge resistance. Well, yeah, I'm not worried about charge resistance, so that should be fine. So, it doesn't really matter how we line this out, because we're going to basically sit here and wait. Um, but let's put our saber here. Let's put another saber here. I think we're just going to charge in both of these and be done with it. Um, let's go ahead and get all of these guys on too. You know what, screw it. Just do something like this. What is with these lines? What? Oh, wait. There's Cav in this? Wait, why are you in two? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. That's two. There he is. There he is. There we go. It was a Cav in here. Sneaky Cav, man. Sneaky Cav. All right. Then your Lance Calvary, Lance Calvary. You guys can sit on three. Uh, we have uh, lots of archers now. You guys can go on four. Something like this is probably okay. I'm not really worried about any of the intermixing. And then you guys go on one. Sure. Start battle. All right. So the goal here, can you blow up the tower? Oh, they're actually getting charged out at me. Even better. Even better. So how do we want to do this? Let's get uh, my uh, 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 cav. Hold up. Pause the game. Where is I'm trying to I'm trying to get all my units here. So I want my uh, white cab to come out here because I want you guys to be safe. Um, I actually didn't move you two at all, but let's put you here in the central. And okay, I like this. So I'm totally cool with him just charging us. So our catapult, the, I guess that's the advantage of the catapult is he just straight up attacked me. So we don't even have to deal with his walls. So I don't really want to pull forward then. Cool. Like it, like it. Can we duel? There's no one to duel. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I don't know what our catapult's shooting. It's probably shooting these guys right now. But that's okay. We'll have them shoot the archers here as time goes on. Now, remember, we actually don't want to attack them. So go here. And then where is my uh, horse cav? I want you guys to focus on those guys as well. Let's go do it. And let's just go for the break. Let's just go take care of this. And then let's get you guys in here. Although I don't really want you in there. Because we're just trying to get them to break as quick as possible, I think, at this point. So we're going to take some damage from range shots or whatever, but this should be not that big of a deal. Okay. Uh, while this is going on, I don't actually want to hit my own things. So, hey, can you pull up the towers? I just want to see what this does. While we're waiting. Hit. Oh, crap. I should have wedge formation. Oh, I don't have wedge formation. Never mind. Wait, why don't I have wedge formation? Huh. Last time I played the game, I had wedge formation. That's unfortunate. All right. I need you guys to get up here. Get up here. Break this last guy, and then we win. Did you do any damage? Uh. Well, let's just claim victory. I assume it does damage to the tower. But... Decisive victory. We lost 136. Not too bad. Not too bad. I basically didn't want the game, uh, that battle to continue because I didn't want those towers to keep shooting us. Um, their guys are all, all going to straight die. Anytime it's a town victory, if you lose, like, whatever army is there is just going to straight die. Also, it's a garrison army, so it would die anyways. Sweet. So we only lost 62. We might... Uh, never mind. Occupy. This belongs to us now. And we gain momentum for cheaper recruitment costs. Nice, nice, nice. And bonus XP as well. With the commander under our control, we can bring order to the chaos and discipline to the populace. And from there, victory. Sweet.
So mission, from each according to their ability. My lord, the generals under your command are talented individuals, each with an array of skills that can put you uh, to use in improving your realm. In each commandery, they can be sent on assignment to oversee and improve the infrastructure, both military and civic of your alliance. Each character has different qualities, so to bring uh, qualities to bring to these endeavors, so inspect your options carefully. Send any character on assignment. We actually already did that. You gain momentum. There you go. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. And so now our goal is to reach faction rank second Marquise. Uh, with respect, my lord, if you are to be taken serious by the nobles of China, and if you are to finally face down the tyrant, Zhang Zhu, you must increase your standing by whatever means necessary. Warfare, diplomacy, shrewd, encompassing, uh, or e economizing. You must prove yourself influential and worthy of their respect. All right. How do we gain this, by the way? Increase your prestige by capturing and expanding settlements or by constructing special buildings. Okay. We're at 14 of 50. So, seems pretty okay. Now, I don't think you have any movement, right? So, we'll keep you here for this turn. Three turns left. Two turns left. Three turns left. So, yeah, you're actually uh, getting up there pretty quick. Growing my recruitment cost. So, that replenishment's about to drop, though, next turn, which is a little unfortunate. Mission issued. Success. Issued. Command and Congress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Commandery secured. Nice. So, with the Commandery secured, that means we now have the Trade Port, which we can upgrade to do what? A little more commerce income. And a much larger garrison. The other option is we could bump you up. Which isn't going to make us as much money. Our population still has weights to go on it. So I think I'm going to go upgrade you. The other thing is we could upgrade here for more population growth. Can I do that and that? No, I can't afford that. I think we do want to grab that next turn though. Yeah, and we still want to probably get more units inside our army as well. But I'm not super concerned. Low general satisfaction? Hi. Why are you unhappy? Special rare weapons. Armor. Yeah, 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 we know about that. Did we pick up anything? Oh, we actually do have a great glaive. Ooh, nice. And there's a little bit of armor. You can actually sell some of this stuff off as well. Authority and satisfaction. So... He has 18 satisfaction because he has a lack of purpose. Huh. Can I give him stuff for more satisfaction? I would like to give him something that gives him some satisfaction. I can give him this for a little bit of satisfaction. Positive factors 34, negative factors negative 12. So he should be gaining every turn. He should be gaining every turn. I'm okay with giving him the pig. Um, that being said, I think this is a much better weapon for you, right? Oh, uh, wait. Who had this? Cannot be equipped. Ah, oh, dang it. Never mind. So, melee attack rate, and then basically it's expertise or authority. Uh, expertise is probably better to give you extra more cunning. Which one do you currently have equipped? You have this one. Does authority help you? That gives you more satisfaction. Eh. Oh, it's not going up or down. It's just a passive. I understand. So it's just sitting at 22. Gotcha. Huh. I wonder if there's any way to raise that. He actually has... Nope, nope. He doesn't have any pass. We could promote him, which would give him extra satisfaction. Um, we'll have to pay him more money. I don't, nah, nah, nah. I don't think it really matters. What would happen? Would he go into a civil war against me? Perhaps? Hello. Who are you? And where are you coming from? Challenge issue. Gather strength. Ganshong uh, prepares for war. Alliances are fickle things in times of chaos. They send little, seldom last. The legacy of Li Yu is that of a teacher, but now his students have surpassed him, and we must see his family destroyed. So we need to go destroy him. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, threat of Liu. The relations between you and your former master have long been strained. Frictions developing among your expanding border and small skirmishes have broken out. You are urged to be aggressive to prevent him from halting your expansion, yet you have also been approached by Yao Sha, requesting the assault of Han Fu with the promises of rich. So, 
This would declare war on Gongshan and Zan. Both are going to be Gongshan and Zan. But this one's Lai Yu. And then this one's Han. I think I would rather go uh, Lai Yu because he's right next to us. Okay, he's, he's right there. You're way over there. I'm going to attack him, although it's not following the story, which is unfortunate. So, yeah. Yeah, we're not going to follow the story. So, we declared war. Congrats, everyone. Uh, who are you, by the way? The Han Empire. Where are you going? It's a pretty decent sized army, man. Bring me news of the province. How is my garrison here? Is declared. Terrible, As actually. The power takes up arms against you. Teach them justice. What is his speed? So here's the thing. If he lands, I want to be able to hit him. I want I need to hit him with my army because that's about my only option here. Um I can't I can't leave this wide open for us. So we kind of need to go this way. That being said, our trade port is under danger as well. So we got to be careful here. Why can't we upgrade? Oh, because you can only build one per town. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then since we have a little bit extra money, let's go ahead and recruit some extra units then. Um I wanted a really good mounted saber militia, please. And then I also wanted these guys. I'm gonna grab two of them as well. Now what's the crossbow versus the archer militia? Oh, this is the other thing you can do in this game is you can actually replace units. So I can actually replace our our archers with crossbows. But Crossbows have more morale. Uh, less range power. But a little more toughness. So they're a little bit better in combat. Probably not going to worry about that right now. I think let's just let's just go with the army we have right now. Characters. General skill point available. Nice. Oh, all right. So this is our strategist. She was the one that we ended up putting on uh, the mission down here. So let's see what can you do. You can either grab precision, which gives you extra expertise, and then ranged for armor piercing damage, and then range when commanding, or uh, cunning uh, character experience for her army, or income from commerce, silk, and spice. Yeah, we're going to do that one. We're definitely going to do that one. Cool. And then you had a mi uh, one as well, too, didn't you? No. What are you just alerting me? What's this then? Oh, low general satisfaction. So it's at 20. Does that lack of purpose keep ticking up? So maybe then what we should do. People will move to your settlements as they develop. As your population grows. I can't give him an assignment. That's unfortunate. Economy, but be wary of rapid expansion. In case there's not enough food. Yeah, 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 calm down. So we actually have positive food. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's just going down. Hmm. I don't really know what we do to keep it up. Other than a uh, buy him out. So, sure. Let's go hit next turn. Let's see what this army does. Hopefully this army just goes away and we don't have to worry about it. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, there we go. <laughs> Game just jumped there. So the minister Wang Yan, fearing the tyranny of Zhang Zhu, uh, a senses adopted daughter of the capital. His plan is to have her uh, destroy the relationship between Zhang Zhu and his adopted son Lu Bu. Okay, have fun with that. Good luck. Let's go put you in the town. And we're essentially going to have you guys just sit here for a little bit. Seven turns until fully replenished. Two turns. Um, Seven turns. Where was the other guy? I think he's already fully... No, nope, two turns. So yeah, I think the replenishment is down slightly in winter, but don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. How long on the build? Two more turns. Okay, money is fine. Money's fine. We do want to upgrade you. Um, you're my uh, friend. Can we actually be... By the way, did you go down again? Yeah, it did. It's going down every single turn. I can't, like, switch him. Do I just need to, like, kick him out? Because I can't do anything with him. Lord who cannot safeguard their own family shows weakness to their enemies. So we can dismiss him. But I don't really know what that does. Yeah, I don't really know what that does. How long until you're leveled up? Oh, she's our wife, by the way. I didn't realize that. He's 17. Okay, okay. How long until... 
The assignment is done. This is nine turns. We could bring her back. But that's less money. I think I'd rather just have this general be pissy. Yeah, I think I'd rather just have the general be pissy at this point. I don't really know what else we can do. Um, diplomacy. Hey, buddy. Let's go quick deal. Let's see. What do we got? Non-aggression pack. Who is this with? Now, remember, Han Fa Fu should like me now. So can we non-aggression pack with you? Maybe. Negotiate. Uh, yeah, actually. He likes me a lot. Hmm. What if I make just a little bit of a payment to you? 119? Can I do 118 instead? 115? 110? 100? 105? 106? We're gonna figure this out. 107. We're gonna min max the crap out of this. 108. 109 is 110, isn't it? Okay, 109 is fine. So this gives us a non-aggression pack, and I'm going to pay him 109. I think I'm good with that. Because the non-aggression pack means he's going to like me a little bit better. Maybe we can confederate with him eventually. I don't think we can actually confederate yet, right? Like, I don't think that's an option here. Hi, if I just wanted to negotiate with you... Um... Glad to see you. Trade, trade territory trade agreement join our faction through marriage vassals alliances form coalition you must be equivalent greater rank so we have to be second marquis for that to happen will you trade me your territory would you trade me this they want a lot but that would be their only... Would that not just be like... If we just paid them, would we not just get it then? Isn't that it? Oh no, they also have the town. Okay, okay. I was like, would they just like completely disappear? Like, why do they even need money? <laughs> so no, they'd still have the one left. Interesting. That's good to know that you can actually trade territories. I like that they actually show you the value of it it's it's very nice so you are now at war with zhang yan who is this guy i don't know but he should be our friend i don't think we've met him yet so you're still a little more unhappy blah 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 uh six turns for replenishment um i think what is our total so we're at six we still need some more units here how many turns here? One turn, and then we can upgrade you. So we'll need seventeen hundred. Small victories. This place is abundant. So we actually can't even afford it. Next turn. Would aid your ambitions. Hmm. The other option would be to go here for the Han. But I think I'd rather take this out because we already have the iron mine. The question is, I don't know how serious of an army they have there, and whether or not we can actually fight it. Get the stables ready for my horse. We might as well go down here. Just to get a little bit of view. And he actually doesn't have troops here. Wait, what? I refuse. No, he has a huge army there. But the balance of power says towards me. Interesting. Interesting. Recruitment is enabled. Okay, I'm going to ambush so he doesn't know I'm here. And I'm wondering about recruiting some more troops. Because we got a little bit of money. They're going to be weak for the next battle, but that might still be okay. Maybe another... I don't know if we want that much cav. I mean, I love cav, man, but... I kind of like infantry as well. Another trebuchet? I mean, honestly, maybe it's just the trebuchet that's really just uh, flipping the tide. It really might just be. Do we need another mount, uh, more spearmen? You know, I actually do think we're going to take another spearman. How, how's our, we got one, two, we have three archers. I'm tempted to get more archers, too. I think I'm going to buy another one of those guys as well. Okay. Uh, we got one more reform. Good. 
Go away. I don't want to talk to you. Uh, so let's see. We can get income from industry or we can do more income from uh, commerce. Yeah, we're going to do more income from commerce because that's how we're making money still. Um, income from peasantry, construction costs from mines. I mean, we'll want to get that, but just give me more income from com uh, commerce, please. So, 537 now. That commerce is plus 123%. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go next turn. So, I'm hoping... Tolerance is the best we can offer. He wants peace. He requests trade. He wants me to give him one food. And he will give me the iron mine. And I will give him the iron mine. And he'll peace me out. <laughs> uh, he's an inferior threat to me right now. Hello. Did not expect him to walk all the way over there. China can boast some of the finest roads in the world. The best routes are through central China. And traveling along them will hasten How is my iron mine garrison? Pretty decent size. My spear is ready. I'm not quite sure how we should do this. So we can easily go take his territory. I don't think that's worth it. We actually can hit him. Okay, let's go fight him then. Oh no, we're so close. So the thing is, I want to be close enough that we can actually support the iron mine in case we need it. So this is six troops plus the dude. Impossible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus three strategists. To arms. My I want to get here. To I'm just trying to get close enough that we're actually going to support. All right. All right. The other option is... We could move through there, but I don't know. Like, we could march here and then get into the town. I just don't know if this is a good idea or not. I'm going to save because I really am not quite sure how to do this. Because, you know, just not experienced with this game right now. So, anyways, you're probably really pissy at me right now. Yeah, you're down to 14. Suck it. I would love to put you in charge of something, but I can't. Fire Say what? Burns brightly and indiscriminately. Say what? But no flame can last forever. Starved of air, it chokes, it splutters, and is then extinguished. Did the big dude the die? Is dead. Oh, okay. Haha. -ha. Yet in the ashen darkness. The avaricious prowl. Is this a standard thing that happens right about now? Or is this completely random? The minister Wang Yun is planning the overthrow of Zhang Zhu. No, willing, no longer willing to suffer the tyrant. It's said that he adopted son and manipulated it into killing to strike uh, the blow. Okay, so his son actually killed him. Faction success. Zhang Min is now in charge. Okay. And I have no idea what happened to this army. It looks like they um, went into ambush. Bring me news of the province. Stand against chaos. Okay, I'm okay being ambushed. I'm totally okay. I actually wanted to be ambushed because <laughs> we have a far, far superior force. We could delegate this one. I think I'm just gonna delegate this one. So nice, murdered. That worked out. That worked out actually quite well for us. So the only thing is because the ambush, maybe the AI didn't do as well. We lost 400. That wasn't too bad. I'm going to do replenishment though. The income's a little less important to me right now. I care a little more about keeping my troops high so we can um, go fight. So close victory. Good, 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 good. Great heroes are not immortal. So if one of your generals fall in battle, they will have to be replaced. Okay. The replacement will continue to lead their predecessor's retinue. Okay. Okay, that's actually interesting to know. So our main dude actually leveled up here. Uh, so we have, what, three options? Or we already have that one. Yeah, we do. So uh, clarity plus eight authority, negative uh, building upkeep, 
uh, uh, for the administered commandery, which doesn't really help us, or fury, which gives him more instinct, which is more uh, HP or more melee damage rather, uh, plus 10 morale in enemy territory when commanding, and extra charge bonus uh, for his own retinue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it seems like the bottom stuff, what's the middle stuff? Okay, so the bottom stuff is um, uh, administrative stuff, the top stuff is battle stuff, and then the middle stuff is um, uh, 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 um, things you can do in battle. Basically magic, essentially. But there's no magic in this game. So how long? Nine turns until full capacity. Uh, I am okay moving these guys out. Because the uh, military, their army basically just got dead. So we should be good. I don't want to uh, do a march. Because I don't, we could end up in the capital. But then we just aren't re replenishing. And that just doesn't seem like a good idea for me. Okay. Trade port. We have enough money now. We can actually upgrade you. So let's go do that. Three turns. Boom. Um, we do want to get more units here, but eventually. Not super worried about it right this second. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and hit next. They didn't hit my archer or my catapult at all, by the way. So, yay. So, I'm assuming that maybe just destroyed his army is the hope. You can marry your family members to characters inside or outside your faction. Okay. Sounds good. Zhang Yan declared war on Han Fu. Uh, coming of age. Hey, our child has come of age. Nice. 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 Uh, so that's probably why they're alerting me. So, hi, I can actually marry you off to someone now. Banish. <laughs> so, I'm wondering about... He's level 2, by the way. What is he? He's a guard. Okay. If I went here to diplomacy... It takes work and investment to improve And you like me a lot. Actually, hold up. 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 Go back to us. You guys really trust. like us. Can we... Strengthen the relationship with a trade agreement. Can we marry? Receive marriage, offer marriage. There's no one that we can offer marriage to. Hi, negotiate with you. We can offer marriage here. So offer marriage to marry someone from your faction to someone of theirs. The character will both remain in the recipient's faction. So I want receive. So I want to receive. And all you have is a level one noble right now. She is 18. My gosh. Okay. I mean, is there a reason to and or not to? They don't like each other. So, probably not a good idea then. Can we marry him to someone in our own faction? So, if I went here to court and I said, hey, buddy. I want you to marry someone? How would I do that? Banish, promote, relations. Maybe it's under the character tab. Maybe I have to do it here? Also, hold up. Hold up. Is he legendary? No. Not yet. Open character details. Alright, go away. How would I marry you? View world and character... Relations, you have no relations as of yet. Uh, I honestly have no idea how we're supposed to marry inside your faction. May look into that. He's only 18, so I'm not super concerned about that right now, but okay. Let's go move you all the way down here. My hope is you are uh, able to just get crapped on now. We can't quite see yet. I wish we could go a little bit further. That's fine. Uh, you actually have... Oh, I didn't notice, but you have a level up. So, I probably want to make you good to lead your own armies. I think it's going to be the goal. So, I'll probably go with precision. And I'll probably do precision. Expertise, ranged. Yeah, and this should take you over the top, right? Nope, not quite, but almost. Range, armor, piercing, damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll apply that. So, then, I just need a little bit of something, something. And you're great. Cannot be equipped. Who's using the Great Glaive? He's already using that one. Okay, that's less expertise, so we definitely don't want that one. Uh, not in use. That one's used by you. This one is not in use. This one's six expertise. That one's actually pretty bad, but it gives you charge. I'm going to equip that one instead. And now you are legendary. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We also have two people here. 
So unlocks assignment, surplus markets, and then plus 5% trade influence. Okay. So this only works the trade influence if you're prime minister, or faction, heir, or faction leader. So I will put you here then. I don't know what surplus markets do, but whatever. And then accessories, those are all used right now. Now, these other two guys aren't super helpful. Like, I wanted to potentially put you with the unhappy guy, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. You are up to 21 now. Huh. I wonder why I went back up now. He's a little happier with life, so I'm okay with that. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think we're good. I think we're good. You have no HP right now. Ugh. Ugh. Freaking auto resolve, man. Oh, we're at 40 minutes. We need to wrap this episode up. So, next episode, we're going to go take you on for sure. Uh, noble birth. Uh, Gongshun Zan. Oh, so, okay. We got a new kid. Uh, the daughter is born from my main dude. So, family tree. Yeah, they had a daughter. Oh, uh, she is one ugly baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, let's be the Targaryens, and we're just going to have you guys, um... Yeah, we're just going to have you guys marry each other, right? I think so, right? I think, right, 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 why not? Why not? Okay, what do we got here? Massive balance of power. You have absolutely nothing there. You should be able to go take it this turn. Um, we're going to go ahead and quick save. And next episode, then we're going to fight this battle. I know it's going to be an overwhelming, decisive victory, but we'll probably still fight it. I'd like to fight at least one battle per episode. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, show your support. Next episode, we're going to take over another town. Hope to see you then. Bye, everyone.